Hello, main dame listeners. It's your girl, Montana, back again for another edition of my advice column, okay, on love and relationships. I'm here with my boy, Popo. How you doing, Popo? I'm doing well. I know y'all like, what the heezy is Popo doing here with me today? I thought, you guys, instead of just hearing my word, my advice, we can get a, a male's perspective on some of these conversations. So one of the million dollar questions that I have Okay, is what is the best advice you can give to women, Papo? Be nice. Be nice and considerate. Okay. Well, see, now I already thought that women were, you know, sugar, spice, and everything nice already. So, not all the time. Not always. Okay. You know, there's always a uh, a bad apple in the batch. <laughs> okay. 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 So, um, but but be you know, give me a little bit more elaboration on the whole be nice concept. Well, you know, people have different perceptions of what nice is. What's yours? You know, um, my perception may be something like say just uh, when you come over to my house, put your trash in the trash can. Don't leave your empty cup on my table so that I can throw it away. Really? Like, so you dealing with some some helpers that's doing that? Maybe maybe it's the company I mean, that you keep it. Because I, I thought it, that it, that's it, just... It's possible. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's possible. You know what I mean? Because I don't discriminate. I kind of uh, move around And then also social. may be why you saying that women need to be nice because maybe you weren't nice to them. Which well, makes them not be nice to you. Well, that would that would make sense if I were being mean. But we're talking about instances we're talking about Papa. We're being nice. And we're also talking about Papa. But we're talking about me with other women besides okay. yourself. Okay. Well, wait a minute. And <laughs> As a friend, like, I don't exactly. have to be nice to you. Oh, okay. I'm going to say, let's clear it up. I'm <laughs> glad he just did because, yeah. Yeah, it almost kind of looked like you know. Was. I mean, you know, it's, it's a different dynamic that you have with women that you're involved with versus the women that you have a platonic relationship oh, okay. with. Okay. Okay. You know so that's I mean? why you, because you. I mean, you know. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But I still, okay, so I guess at the end of the day, the moral of the story is to just treat people the way you want to be treated. It's your boy, Al. <laughs> My advice that I would give a woman that's uh, about to date or get into a serious relationship, I would say take your time. You know what I'm saying? Don't prejudge the guy. Actually get to know the guy. Get to know his family. See what type of background he come from. If he has a heart, because some guys don't have a heart. But that's my advice I would give to you. I am the B-E-N-E-T-E-M-B-R-Y, B'nai Ember, host of the B'nai, B'nai Ember Radio Show, right here at the Apple Party. My advice to women when they're going out on a date, don't start off being so demanding. Be understanding and listen so he can feel comfortable opening himself up to you without any pre without worrying about any prejudgment from you. So that's the best thing I can I just do. wanted to come to you. Um, Give ladies a little advice from a, a male bit. perspective. Just a little yeah. bit. The ladies that either in a relationship or want to be in a relationship. Yeah. Here's a little advice uh-huh. from us guys. Yeah. All right. Um, yes, enough. My thing is the whole question of what time do you think you'll be here? There's never a right answer to that question. It's like if I tell you 25 minutes. You won't be there in 20. I will not be there. <laughs> I mean, because things happen. They you shouldn't have to put time on, you know, the, the time limit on whether I should be back or not. How about just saying, you know, um, just, you know, have fun. That's it. If I'm, if I'm giving a have fun, you know, I'm glad you're having fun, enjoying yourself. I wouldn't have that on the back of my mind. Like, damn, I got to tell my boys. It's, it's about yeah, that time. and then I have to listen to my boys tell me that. Because we clowning. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Yeah. You yeah, know, we, all we that. Nobody wants to hear that jazz. So just. So it's about peer pressure. For yes, you. Yeah. it's peer pressure. Okay. Not, not as more as peer pressure. It's more than, you know, I'm comfortable. <laughs> my lady's at home, and she knows that I will be home. Not at a time, not at a certain time. Ladies, for me, my advice to you would be, no, that our time apart is just as important as our time together. We have to have time to miss each other, to 
really miss each other. So that's my advice to you. All right. My advice is if, hey, we together, we together, you know. Let's, hey, bun, you know, find out some things about me. You know, don't just assume, hey, I'm this kind of guy. You know, when you get there, hey, find out everything Common interest. about me. Yeah, you know, don't just get with me because of looks or, oh, hey, we can, <laughs> we can just, hey, we can connect. You know, just, hey, find out everything first before you put yourself in 100%. All right, ladies, I hope that you enjoyed my advice. Well, not my advice, the men's advice uh, for this column this month. Hope you enjoyed it. If you felt like the advice was, you know, was helpful to you or even not, post your comments below. Let me know what you think. All right. And keep tuning in and reading MainDameMag.com. Until next time, peace.